Uh, hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, Armo Grat, I'm a fund manager of Baltic Horizon um, and uh, will host the webinar of the third quarter uh, to give an overview of the fund uh, uh, third quarter results and um, talk about the situations, uh, the, 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 the events that are happening in a fund. So let's kick this off as usual. Uh, 30 to 40 minutes um, presentation, uh, then open to questions, um, uh, which I will then uh, address afterwards. I will also try to already um, address some of the questions that were asked uh, before the webinar uh, as we go along with the presentation. So the main events for, uh, for us in the third quarter were <coughs> related to uh, our uh, refurbishment projects and uh, namely we have fully completed uh, the refurbishment of Europa uh, shopping center and as we like to call it more a community center and um, we have totally turned around the ground floor and uh, refurbished uh, the facade elements as well um, in regards to the tenants um, uh, yes we we have a food hall um, which uh, has 10 different uh, food outlets. And uh, I'm very happy to say that it's working very well. Um, on the other side, we have Burakan Cafe and, um, and uh, another cafeteria that offers uh, busy uh, uh, business people in the area, in the city center of Vilnius, um, uh, morning snacks and, and lunches and, 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 and evening, evening, evening drinks as well. So, so uh, generally we're, we're quite happy with the result. And um, and as well, uh, Meraki uh, first tower uh, completion uh, took place and over as well. Uh, the first building is fully operational. We had also an opening uh, event there, um, and uh, now it's uh, in the same, <coughs> uh, as you know, in the same vicinity as we have our Domus Pro uh, complex. So it is now a big, big uh, complex of of uh, office and retail. Uh, mixed use complex in, in, in Vilnius. And um, I will give more details uh, about this later. Uh, also, <clears throat> as we are preparing for the refinancing of, um, of the bond, as, uh, as everybody knows, uh, the term is, is, is May uh, 2023, and, and uh, we have for that um, engaged as, as well as Standard Poor's um, <coughs> uh, to, to give us a rating. And uh, they've confirmed this also the, uh, the late late summer, so our rating has remained uh, unchanged. And furthermore, uh, what happened uh, in the third quarter uh, that we got back our GRESP uh, uh, rating scores, which is the sustainability benchmark. So I'd be happy to say that we'll make some progress there, <clears throat> not only uh, you know, trying to make our or making our properties more efficient, but also focusing on the processes that we have in place and uh, uh, and upgrading them uh, to to a level um, to, a, to a level where where we were able to receive a four star rating. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done there, but um, it's definitely good progress for us. And uh, and yes, last but not least. Uh, for the past quarter uh, and as well in the fourth quarter we are working on uh, prolongation of, of many of our loans um, uh, mostly office building loans uh, so that is definitely a working process to comment uh, on the portfolio so generally uh, the quarter was uh, relatively uh, let's say uh, relatively as predicted and uh, Overall, um, uh, maybe the big change here is that we have included now Meraki uh, in the um, in in these tables in the occupancy rate table. Uh, so Meraki currently uh, is uh, about twenty four percent leased. Um, we're we're working on on an anchor tenant, so uh, that should definitely uh, increase the NOI and, uh, and the occupancy and the yield uh, of the property. Uh, so. Um, uh, our our plan was uh, and what we did last year. We sold G4S building um, and, and uh, sort of changed uh, G4S to Meraki, a brand new building, uh, 
Bream, Bream Excellence Certification and, and uh, was just finished. So, uh, so we have some tenants uh, already moved in. Um, in regards to the, the yields, um, uh, the direct property yields uh, that uh, one can see here, we definitely expect uh, um, much more improvement uh, in, in both Galeria and Europa Center, but as well in, in Postimaya. And uh, uh, mainly why the yield has been still so low, uh, in, in especially in Europa and, and uh, Galeria is the ongoing uh, reconstructions that we've, we've had there. And that's why we, <clears throat> we had to sort of uh, complete them before new tenants could move in. So uh, already now you could see that that Europa, Europa's uh, occupancy is, is increasing and, and will be increasing further in Q4. i uh, also happy to say that all tenants uh, that, that have moved in uh, in terms of turnovers, they have um, done better as, as, as well as they expected, but at least also better than expected. So uh, that's, that gives us good comfort about um, you know, the concept change uh, that uh, we're definitely on the right track. Um, so, um, otherwise, uh, yeah, relatively, uh, relatively stable, um, we have prolonged many leases, uh, let me maybe also look at uh, and show the NOI, uh, development and comparison. So, um, uh, as, uh, as one can see, uh, you know, most of our properties developed, uh, very positively and, um, uh, and, uh, in, um, in, I think worth commenting here is is um, um, Europa, and uh, we why we did uh, we we received uh, less rental income than we expected, and that was uh, again mainly to do with uh, with the reconstruction, also some discounts that we have had to give to some tenants because of the reconstruction and and uh, areas that were. Uh, not uh, not uh, well accessible to the to the people, but um, we definitely uh, see uh, Q4 to be an improvement here and as well to, uh, next year. Um, <clears throat> overall, we have been indexing rents, and uh, I think uh, uh, yesterday we had an announcement about uh, about October and um, and uh, of course these these uh, results show up until September, but but um, yeah with with the improvement of uh, of occupancy and um, and indexation uh, the uh, rental increase was uh, was quite notable. So so um, we're quite happy that uh, finally the numbers are starting to show uh, some 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 evidence of of the, of the results. So uh, overall, uh, uh, the, the portfolio uh, is is in uh, is in uh, in the same shape as as it was before. We have uh, uh, most of our assets in Lithuania and Latvia, so no uh, no uh, we haven't made any acquisitions. Uh, um, we are still uh, having a retail office portfolio and. Uh, and in, when it comes to the uh, the, the anchor tenants, then uh, then uh, they are still they are still the, the same anchor tenants. And um, there was a question about um, uh, you know what are we are we planning any changes in the portfolio? And and uh, yes, um, I think uh, we have said it openly that uh, uh, we are in the process of um, of uh, of uh, uh, selling uh, Lincoln. And as well uh, selling Sky, so uh, the time the process has taken a bit more time um, than expected. But um, uh, let's say negotiations are ongoing, and uh, we expect to to uh, to finalize those uh, still, still this year. Uh, so that's definitely the goal. Uh, we're working on on potentially another another sale of a smaller property. Um, but uh, I think more news will come to that when uh, when this is uh, this is made public. So um, effectively focusing on on the city centers, uh, that's what our goal is, and um, and on our strategic assets. So more details about um, 
about uh, the main events in, in, in our properties, especially with our tenants. And, uh, and uh, I think a, a change uh, that we had, uh, which is also notable, is, is that uh, MUSEC uh, property management, uh, the, uh, the most, uh, most uh, well-connected, let's say, property management company has taken over Europa's uh, management as of 1st of November, and, um, and at the same time, uh, several uh, leasing, uh, lease deals and, uh, and head of terms have been signed, uh, for example, um, Sportland, uh, we prolonged in Galleria Centres, uh, they expanded uh, from uh, the fourth floor where the now, now the new food hall is coming, uh, they moved to the third floor, so a destination, future destination on the, on the third floor. Um, and uh, and as well in, in Galleria, uh, we are in final stages of, of signing signing a new international anchor tenant for for the property uh, starting from uh, third quarter next year, um, opening uh, the doors. So uh, and uh, and uh, when it comes to um, uh, Postima, then. Uh, we opened the, uh, the pharmacy and uh, ongoing works are for a brand new Reval Cafe, which is also an expansion um, uh, to the street level. So uh, all of this, we, we believe, uh, makes, makes the properties uh, more lively again and definitely um, increases the, the footfall, but also overall, uh, overall um, <clears throat> Uh, retail spending. So, what's interesting to see in the shopping centers today is that uh, that the ter uh, that uh, tenant visits, uh, sorry, the uh, the footfall uh, uh, hasn't hasn't yet, you know, uh, reached uh, 2019 levels, but uh, but turnovers have. have. So, uh, yes, tourists are not all back, and uh, you know, still some some aftermath uh, of of COVID happening, but. Um, but yes, uh, the, the the turnovers are are back to 2019 levels, and that's probably to do with some some infl inflated uh, or inflation in terms of the products that the, and and services that are being sold. But but also that people are visiting less and spending more. Um, and that's definitely the trend across the board. Um, and then uh, quite quite a few interesting tenants in Europa, which uh, I didn't mention before, was uh, was for example Avitela, uh, a, a a electronics gadget shop. So not selling uh, washing machines, but but rather uh, gadgets, electronical gadgets uh, for everyday use of, of office um, of office uh, workers. So so that. Um, uh, that has opened very successfully, and uh, as well, Odore Amore, new concept. Uh, so uh, it's it's uh, it's sort of a beauty salon sells uh, makeup products, and uh, and then at the same time has a bar. Um, so definitely worth a visit um, when when in Europa. And then a, a few few other a few other expansions and extensions uh, like my fitness and uh, dental clinic in Pirit, um, Red Cross office sort of outlet uh, that we brought to the third floor of, of Europa, um, but they also service customers and especially during this time uh, uh, in in the world, um, uh, they found a good location in, in our um, in our shopping center. Uh, then, uh, yeah, Domino's Pizza, I didn't mention, uh, this is uh, a tenant that we would like to introduce to Sky um, um, uh, next year, uh, probably in the second half of the next year. And overall, uh, lots of work with, with tenants to prolong leases, uh, prolong uh, Rimi, uh, several Rimi leases, uh, and, uh, uh, and um, in, when it comes to the office segment and in North Star, we have um, filled in the, the vacancy, the thousand square meters that was due to the um, uh, due to some some um, uh, some premises given back by the Lithuanian tax authority uh, last year, but now that is uh, almost almost fully leased out. Um, and uh, I think another notable event uh, for us is is. Uh, uh, one of our um, 
the assets uh, the cinema building in Tallinn uh, next to the post, in the Postimaya complex, uh, the tenant has uh, uh, changed. So uh, uh, Apollo Group uh, has taken over uh, this property with their operations, and uh, now the Dark Nights Film Festival is, uh, is happening, and, uh, and uh, people are visiting the cinema. Uh, uh, increasingly, um, increasingly a lot. Uh, so the 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 plan with the uh, the Bostimaya complex is to uh, is to uh, uh, expand first the Reval Cafe and uh, the the anchor tenants are thinking their uh, their re let's say rejuvenation plans, uh, which uh, they they plan to work on next year. And uh, the cinema building, our plan there is to uh, work together with Apollo on the ground floor uh, to bring in some additional tenants uh, over the next year uh, to make this a real um, entertainment and uh, and and, uh, and and entertainment center and place for for um, for also for, for for sort of good services and and some fashion. Um, some more words about Meraki, as it's uh, also uh, pictured here. So um, um, we decided to do the first tower uh, first, and uh, and that's now been completed. So that included as well a, a large underground parking, uh, which uh, we we have also completed. So. Uh, the second tower uh, currently is is not built and uh, will be built only if we find um, uh, additional anchor tenants. Um, but yeah, we have uh, tenants already moving in. Uh, in Medica, which is a clinic, um, IT company, also uh, financing company, and, and Luminora's bank, uh, and uh, so several tenants already moved in and, and starting to pay some rent uh, now in, in Q4 and going forward. So uh, we do expect, um, uh, maybe one thing I did mention, uh, we, we made some uh, sort of analysis and, and for example, our portfolio yield currently is, is around 5%. And uh, with now the increased occupancies that we, we foresee both in Europa and, and Galleria after the reconstruction is completed, uh, also Meraki uh, turnovers and, and some indexation that our goal is to achieve uh, when our portfolio is in sort of uh, close to fully fully leased out and uh, the, the portfolio yield uh, can it can can increase up to uh, you know six point five percent but but may, maybe even higher so that's our definite uh, different goal and uh, to continuously increase the portfolio yield by by operations. Mm. Some pictures of uh, of Meraki, um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a brand new building uh, with uh, with with a park in front. So so very happy uh, to to have completed it, um, and as well, Newsec is is assisting us uh, together with CBRE with uh, with the anchor tenants. We have participated actually in several in, in two tenders. Uh, where uh, we have uh, got the second place, um, but uh, but there are tenders uh, upcoming and and, uh, and uh, we we'll continue to 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 participate in them once uh, we get the property filled out. It's definitely the most the, the, the highest quality building in this area. So still some pictures. Um, Now, um, I think uh, latest news uh, was also that you know we shared some visualizations of, of how how Galleria Centres, uh, the fourth floor um, the food hall, will, will start to look. And uh, one picture is, is seen also here. Uh, and uh, we, you know, we're, we have worked on the on the name of the of the new food hall. In in Europa, it was called uh, Dialogai, um, and in in a, in Galleria centers, it would be, it would be called uh, something else, but maybe uh, too early to still still say it here. Um, 
and uh, the construction works have started and uh, it's going as planned. So uh, beginning of first quarter, uh, we plan to plan to open it and uh, and, and let's say that the big opening probably in 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 April, uh, uh, the beginning of the spring. So. Um, the the it, it is half of the fourth floor and uh, also uh, a, a small terrace will be included there so there will be a uh, different type of uh, so in terms of tenants we have uh, actually signed up 90 percent of them already and uh, half of them are grab and go tenants uh, but half of them are also stay and dine sort of tenants and we expect to have an offering you know throughout uh, the day the more the breakfast the lunch and the dinner and uh, definitely make it a destination on its own and in Riga Old Town and uh, and there's 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 no really food hall in in this in this level in Riga uh, today. Uh, and um, I have a few more pictures of of the Europa uh, refurbishment that was just uh, finished, and we also with the with new escalators um, and uh, and the. Um, my amphitheater and Dali Cafe as well, uh, bakeries and 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 uh, coffee and and cakes, uh, very popular. So uh, some some more pictures on <clears throat> on the on the Galleria Center's uh, food hall and uh, and uh, we aim to complete it uh, pretty much as as it is in the pictures. So now a bit more about the numbers and, and, and uh, where we are today. So, um, so uh, um, in terms of um, in terms of uh, you know our portfolio and when we when we were hit by the COVID lockdowns uh, in two thousand twenty and twenty one, then um, <clears throat> much of the work has been to. Uh, to uh, you know rejuvenate our centers and uh, it has taken a bit more time um, as, as spoken before Galleria and Europa so uh, by the end of this year we have completed our investment program fully and and uh, you know beginning of next year in in, in the Galleria food hall so um, uh, in that sense uh, uh, the the investment program as such uh, yeah will, has ended so so we can we have focused and we will we will see more um, improvement now in the NOI next year because of uh, this contract signed and um, uh, currently uh, I think for this year we expect uh, similar NOI than last year um, and regardless that uh, you know G4S uh, was sold uh, last year and it's not contributing to the NOI this year so there's already has been an improvement. <coughs> Um, about about a million euros, and and for next year with this portfolio that we have, we forecast the NOI to increase uh, uh, to 19 million, uh, based on the contracts and uh, what we see today um, uh, in our portfolio. So um, I think that's that's something something important to you know to 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 consider, and and uh, is definitely um, for us a realistic uh, goal. You know, given given the current circumstances, um, we estimate the, the gross asset value and the valuations to uh, remain uh, quite stable by year. And uh, yes, there is a push on one hand, you know, with um, uh, with uh, you know discounted uh, in the discounted cash flow valuation. The, the, the the discount rate uh, you know whether that will will change uh, uh, a bit or not but but on the other hand uh, you know indexation of rents uh, and that's definitely a balancing act, act uh, setting off uh, so I think um, the valuations uh, should remain quite stable um, we are indexing our rents I think uh, you know, everybody in, in the real estate, commercial real estate market is, is doing that. And uh, uh, as we have various uh, lease agreements, um, uh, the, um, uh, the, let's say many of them uh, have European Union, CPI, you know, uh, and uh, that, you know, inflation in, in the European Union is what, 8, 9%. 
uh, today. Um, and uh, but many of them are also local uh, CPI and contracts. Uh, however, some of them do have caps, you know, around five percent, and uh, uh, but some don't. So it's 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 a big mix. And uh, and but but we are definitely indexing as as much as we can, and and uh, I think that's also. Uh, represented in our NOI uh, forecast uh, for, ne for next year. Um, <clears throat> the a comment here on the uh, on the net rental income and, and probably cost of rental activities that it was much higher than uh, comparatively last uh, last year, and this is mainly to do with uh, with un uncovered. The uh, owner's cost due to uh, you know the vacancy in Europa and Galleria, um, uh, those vacancies you know also uh, had uh, utilities uh, you know to be used and and that when the pre pre premise is vacant and the owner has to has to pay for it. So uh, also in August uh, when many of the vacancies were replaced, still the. The energy prices, especially the electricity price, and especially in Lithuania, skyrocketed. So that was a considerable uh, amount that uh, that uh, was uh, was um, uh, was was sort of increase in the owner's cost, and I think that's represented here. Uh, what I see now is because of the uh, uh, different support measures across uh, all Baltic states uh, for private citizens and. Um, and as well for 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 companies and for our tenants as well. So so uh, you know I think I think it has calmed down a bit the situation and and uh, the big fear of of uh, you know nuclear winter and uh, you know uh, energy prices increasing ten times um, maybe has um, has uh, calmed down a bit. Uh, that's what I see you know from uh, from the discussions with uh, with our partners with our tenants. Uh, however, cost of energy and cost of, uh, I would say, uh, utilities overall uh, has been increasing. And and, and uh, but but as well, I see that many of the tenants are 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 pushing this sort of inflated cost uh, already to the to the end end uh, uh, end customers. So um, I guess that's how how everybody is trying to cope with it, um, cope with the increase in in utilities and and other expenses uh so the, uh, the 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 next year next year i of course will be will be challenging i think and uh, uh but but i think as well you know what we hear uh, and what we what we read is that the, also the consumption of the of the of the utilities uh, has decreased uh, overall um Giving some some comfort, but still very unexpected environment uh, will, will continue. That's what uh, what we believe. Um, a note on the trade receivables that hasn't really changed much. That's on on which means you know basically unpaid invoices uh, at any given moment. So uh, so I think that's um, generally uh generally fine and um, as well <laughs> we are in the process of um, of uh, re refinancing some of our obligations uh, i think um, uh, one deadline is actually next monday uh, when uh, meraki four million euro bonds uh, become uh, payable so uh, uh, we are going to um, Refinance those, and uh, and as well in the process with with the banks to to refinance our loans and uh, and um, and and increase increase also the loan uh, terms. Uh, so we're discussing uh, another five five year uh, loans uh, with the banks. And uh, and yes, I. I it, it got uh, got ahead of me already. Um, one thing I think I need to mention, uh, and it's been mentioned I think before, is that uh, you know whenever we have taken the loan, um, you know in 2018 or 17 or 
uh, or 19, we uh, we have always uh, tried to hedge it and, and try to fix um, as much as possible uh, the, the interest rate. And uh, one way to hedge it is, is with a swap. Uh, but but also we have uh, had uh, quite a few caps, which is uh, capping the Euribor increase. So uh, <clears throat> so many of our caps are uh, you know at, at one percent Euribor, uh, two percent Euribor, and three percent Euribor. So if Euribor goes to five percent or more, then uh, in that sense we're quite uh, uh, quite well protected. Um, however, <clears throat> in terms of uh, um, cost of 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 debt, uh, you know, currently our cost of debt is around two point eight percent, also in the third quarter. But uh, I think uh, we also estimate some increase in the cost of debt. It is currently difficult to say what it will be, uh, as we are in negotiations with uh, with the banks and uh, and as well. The, I think the main influencer will also be the bond. Um, um, so I think it's fair to say that um, that uh, in uh, we what, what what one should expect is is maybe um, let's say quite stable uh, margins with with the banks, um, uh, but but I think uh, we will have some more amortization now uh, in our uh, in our in our loans going forward um, currently and up until now. Uh, almost had no amortization and that has been uh, as, as one may remember our goal uh, to, to to keep the cash in the fund level and not to amortize um, but um, but definitely amortization is probably going to be uh, in, you know increasing um, you know, across our portfolio not in all loans uh, but uh, but in, in in the new loans and uh, and then the bond market is quite volatile today uh, and uh, and uh, I think there will be some news about uh, about the bond as well very very quite shortly um, and uh, basically uh, the bond is maturing in, in, in May 2023 so so um, we are going to visit the the, the bond investors uh, and bond market in that regard as well already now um, it is also uh, probably one can expect that uh, you know we would try to um, um, you know get get a bit more uh, bank loans this time around uh, from uh, uh, from the banks and and, and then uh, see if we can um, uh, issue a, a lower amount of of, of of the bond, not fifty million, but but uh, slightly slightly lower. Um, but again, you know, these are this is work in progress, and uh, it's, uh, I think at the moment uh, all I can comment. Um, but uh, but we definitely, uh, you know, want to be ready for 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 some increase in cost of uh, debt, and that's why uh, you know working on on our NOI and, uh, and occupancies as well as as indexing our rents at at reasonable levels. Um, uh, is is very important for us. And uh, last but not least, a uh, uh, question on the dividends. And uh, overall, uh, in the past, uh, you know, we have been to pay out the majority of our uh, net cash flow from operations uh, to to dividends. So. Um, <clears throat> And uh, over the past uh, quarters, uh, the generated uh, net cash flow as well uh, increased, uh, and uh, expected to increase. You know, as as we continue with the occupancy increases and new tenants uh, indexing our rents. Um, again, it's it's a bit difficult to to say uh, at the moment uh, what will be the new new dividend level, uh, considering uh, everything, but. Uh, but our priority is to pay dividends and uh, do it regularly. Um, we have decreased the frequency uh, due to these turbulent times uh, to semi-annual dividends. So next time a decision has to be made in in in, in February, early February, uh, late late January, uh, based on based on the based on the situation. Then and um, um, in regards to um, 
maybe a comment on the unit price, which is on the market uh, stock exchange uh, right now. Um, and it is, you know, almost, you know, 35 or even more percent uh, below the, the net asset value based, uh, based on the last evaluations. So, uh, um, so, uh, and, and many have asked, you know, also me that what could, could have been the reasons for that. And, um, you know, I can only, I can only say what I've sort of uh, monitored and, and viewed that, um, that of course, when Corona started, then it was the lockdown of uh, that affected our, our, our central located assets. And, uh, um, and that was the first sort of drop, uh, but also we saw a major drop uh, now after the war has broken out and, uh, you know, the un un uncertainty around energy costs and uh, uncertainty about uh, uh, you know the Euribor and, and and financing costs. So I think those are the main reasons. Uh, of course, what we saw uh, as well was was that um, when the war, war broke out, and many Swedish retail investors um, uh, sold um, uh, their stake in in the fund um, quite quickly, trying to you know uh, exit this region with with all all kinds of investments that uh, they may have had. So that pushed probably the, the price down even even further, and uh, and uh, at the same time, you know, uh, when we speak to our, our larger uh, largest investors, um, uh, the Swedish pension funds and and uh, and family offices, then uh, many of them have have actually even even bought some more. Uh, there was a question that. Uh, you know whether the management uh, has 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 bought any any fund units uh, over the past uh, year. So that's that's also the case, and uh, and uh, and also that um, there was one other question. Um, ah, yeah. So so how do we what what do we plan to do and, and the, the buyback program that we had uh, put in place? So. So uh, yes, buyback program is is uh, is a definitely a tool in our toolbox, and uh, and it it's something that uh, we are we are still you know, thinking about using. The question is, of course, when. And um, uh, but but it's it's a highly regulated process. So uh, we had uh, we had to clarify many things with uh, with the financial supervisory authority. About uh, the intention and how it's how it's how it's being done. So, so uh, I have to be you know careful here. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, more regulation and and uh, any, any, to avoid any kind of um, market price uh, manipulation. Of, or so, so this is this is definitely not not our goal. And, and uh, but but it's in an in an organized fashion. Uh, you know, this this is this tool is in place for three years. So we're we're happy that's it in place. Uh, many things, uh, you know, we have to ask our age, uh, uh, investors approval uh, in an annual general meeting. So, um, <clears throat> so, uh, so we don't we don't need to ask ask that um, anymore. Um, so let's uh, let me see if there's any any more questions. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, maybe a few a few more words on on Meraki and uh, so um, and maybe maybe what our analysis is, has has been that why we have lost those two um, anchor tenants. Uh, so um, uh, one uh, one reason I, it was that we competed with uh, with an older uh, property uh, in in a, in in a similar location, let's say. Uh, in Vilnius, uh, but uh, what we understood is that they they dumped their their rent price uh, very low. So um, we have taken note of, note of that, and uh, and let's say are open for 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 negotiations with with the tenants in terms of uh, rental level. But but at that level, uh, we thought it was not reasonable to 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 compete. Um, and uh, and the other uh, uh, the other actually. Interesting one was that uh, the tenant preferred uh, another location, even though we understood that they paid more than our rent level was. So, um, so it's it's uh, quite an interesting 
to to analyze the the logic of 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 the tenants, but uh, but they have to also think, you know, where where the employees are working and and uh, our 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 properties in in the on the Uppmerge Street um, and uh, in 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 a densely populated area where you know even behind our center. Uh, you know uh, the dwelling houses are currently being built so so it is the fastest growing region in in Vilnius um, as far as I, I know so so uh, we we do it we do wait for it and look for a tenant and have some discussions already with with uh, with those that uh, that want to be in in that location uh, predominant um then um I see another question here. Um, so um, I think I answered it already that uh, e during uh, August, um, mainly in August, uh, the energy bill was very high, and, and uh, we we did pass, you know, uh, all the all the utility charges uh, across to our tenants. Uh, but due to the vacancy, you know, as according to the contract. Um, so, but. Uh, I, uh, according to the yeah, contracts, but um, but yeah, then we had vacancy, and then we had to cover some of these high energy uh, bills ourselves. Uh, and let's say it has stabilized. Uh, the uh, the utilities cost uh, slightly has increased, uh, but uh, you know across the board, uh, I don't I. What I what I know from the latest numbers, it hasn't now we, it has stabilized to the levels uh, which are not extreme. So, so uh, yes, everything is getting more expensive, but um, but still at 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 reasonable rates. Um, so I mentioned the uh, the rental income, the NOI target, uh, according to our our view, to be nineteen million for for next year. And and uh, closer to twenty million for for twenty twenty four, given the current portfolio, uh, and that we estimate uh, comes from um, uh, increased in occupancy rates uh, in our, our shopping centres, uh, and uh, also some some removal of of, of discounts, uh, but as well you know indexation of of uh, of rent, and then uh, Meraki will also hopefully contribute to that. In terms of triple net uh, leases, then uh, I think uh, there's a good number to uh, to to monitor in our quarter uh, reports, and that's um, uh, the uh, the margin. Uh, and uh, so usually uh, the margin of of costs uh, being covered uh, or the net rental margin uh, means that you know how much of the utilities and all surcharges are being covered by the tenants usually it has been around 90 percent uh, uh, now last quarter it was 84 percent and again because of the vacancies uh, so we we estimate this to to increase to around 90 percent uh, also in the upcoming periods um back to back to the levels because the the rental agreements uh, also in in uh, retail centers are triple net the new ones um there are a few old agreements that are not triple net for for some specific reasons. Um, and uh, it is sort of up to 10% of the portfolio, of course, you know, when these uh, rental agreements become renewable, our goal is to to uh, uh, to have um, yeah, have these uh, renewed. Uh, so a new question. Um, Correct. Yeah. So, uh, so without selling Sky and Link on currently, that's our our uh, NOI target. Um, if we sell them, then uh, you know, then the aim is, is of course to reinvest the money. Uh, but uh, but current target is uh, is 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 nineteen million. Uh, so there is a there is a good question about um, you know risk management and and currently our you know um, uh, you know to to decrease the financial exposure and that's something we are 
very actively also discussing and uh, and actually um, over the over the past quarter um, uh, and actually during 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 the last quarters we have uh, repaid uh, back some of our loans um, especially regarding you know Europa and and uh, and, and Galleria so uh, so um, so this is something definitely on the table that we are discussing and um and also you know selling Licona um and and maybe another property here would um would de decrease the loan to value ratio <clears throat> So uh, yes, so uh, you know there are these. I think I answered uh, these these questions. So so in that sense, um, um, maybe maybe a last last question here just to repeat that uh, there are a few non strategic assets that uh, we 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 are selling at the moment, and uh, to um, yeah to decrease our LTV and, and to be ready for. For new uh, newer acquisitions so into into newer newer buildings uh, next year. Let me see. There's a few more questions. Um, So I think uh, I think I, ho I hope I have uh, answered uh, the other questions. I'm not going to repeat. Uh, um, anybody can always follow up with an email uh, if something remained unclear. Um, uh, there's a question here as well that uh, what happens in an adverse situation where um, you know valuations drop and uh, because uh, we have our uh, loan to value maximum at 65 and. Uh, of course, then uh, there's ways how to reduce uh, the LTV uh, by by uh, you know increasing um, or, or issuing new equity to our our top uh, you know investors um, and, and new investors uh, possibly. So that's um, that's also something that uh, that we are currently you know planning for for or thinking about uh, for for early next year. Uh, just, just, just also from from the from the sake of view that that opportunities uh, may arise uh, and probably will arise um, uh, investment opportunities. Um, but overall, yeah. Then if if suddenly uh, this sixty five percent is reached, then the management has to uh, has according to the fund rules um, has to sort of remedy the situation. Um, over a certain period of time uh, and uh, then there's a question of yeah, new equity um, or 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 paying back some of the loans uh, um, from the cash flows and and uh, and uh, then uh, of course in Dutch such an adverse situation uh, um, then then of course dividends uh, might be at risk but uh, but again you know these are the Thoughts that oh, these are the risk scenarios that we're also thinking about, but but currently, um, as of today, um, I don't I don't have the, that expectations um, for the year end. But but yeah, I think maybe just to repeat that uh, so some of the properties that we're considering sell, selling is is uh, yes, you know some of them are, are good cash flow properties, but uh, they are not strategically important for us today. And um, and if we uh, if we get a um, a good price for them, uh, then uh, we will complete uh, the sales uh, for new opportunities. So I think that's all the questions uh, that are here. Um, so um, I think on a, on a summarized note, uh, you know, lots of lots of hard work is being put in now by by our team and 
and and to to work on our occupancies and um, and uh, we're we're happy to see very positive results in 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 our new new newly furbished uh, centres and um, and next year is is going to be also quite uh, unexpected and uh, you know we know that the cost of lending is uh, is is increasing uh, across the board for everybody uh, for for those you know who. who who never had hedging or fixed rates uh, will probably incre increase faster than for the others. But, but eventually, you know, what we see and forecast uh, for the next 10 years is, is that, uh, and I think it was also well um, described in one of the questions that I received, uh, that uh, it will be quite an inflationary uh, um, period. Um, uh, and that is mostly also to somewhat to do with the geopolitical you know situation continuing to be as tense as it as it has been not only in our region but also in in uh, in china and uh, and, and uh, middle east to to some extent um uh, but but also we we do estimate as well that uh, you know last decade was uh, amazing decade where where money didn't cost anything and uh, that is now has changed money will cost always something and now it's it's interesting to see where the equilib equilibrium will, will be found in terms of uh, you know for example euribor or, or or any other rate that what is bearable for the for the for the different um, economies and countries, uh, as we know, you know, lots of debt has been printed over the past two years, especially. So, definitely, a lots of uh, lots of variables uh, in the picture. And uh, but you know, what what number? I, what I always also focus on in the Baltics is the employment, and um, yeah, because the balance sheets of of the companies generally is is very strong, uh, lots of profits have been made, and uh, and um, some yeah, some segments have been already hit uh, because of the war, but but that doesn't seem to be systemic. So in that sense, equity wise, uh, the the economies in the Baltics are in much better shape. So that gives some positive uh, views for the for the future. But but then again, you know. Um, uh, plan for the worst and and be ready for the for the good times. So, so thank you very much. Uh, I don't think I see any more questions. So, I will, welcome to follow up any of any of my comments or or topics over email, and uh, and we'll keep you posted over over Nasdaq stock exchange releases um, about uh, about events happening in the in the fund in the future.